Everybody already know what it do When you really gotta kill it, you nobody gonna feel it When you really gotta tell them it's my crew It's best friend weekend, we can party all night We got Ross moving loads, rumble, Eldo nice It's the uncle This past weekend was the Heisman Trophy presentation Louisiana, we had us a horse in the race And not only did we have a horse in the race Our horse won the race Biologically, this ain't our horse But pretty much you could say BR adopted that man and pretty much I'm talking about Joe Islain Rock Burrow. And naturally, after the big win, a heartfelt speech came after that. And one of the main points that my boy drove home was the fact that Athens County, Ohio, is rough out there. And with this, this just brings me to my next point. After the heartfelt speech, they said at the time, $200,000 was gathered so far. You know, this was like between Monday and Saturday of the speech. And most of that money came from Louisiana. Now, most is probably more than half. But if we're dealing with half, let's just go with $100,000. One, do you know how much money $100,000 is? And two, do you know how messed up Louisiana is? And I just think it's so crazy the fact that, you know, I guess rich people could do what they want with their money. But the fact that they dishing out all this money to Ohio you know how messed up Louisiana is and how far just say $100,000 could have went in Louisiana in our little poverty situation? We got to do better, I think. I say, whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Weekend pod says, oh, man, I got to do that again because that is hard for me to get loud and I hear myself. So just let me, I'm pulling it away from my head when I say it. I say, whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Weekend Podcast. It's your man, Aldo. Nice. It's your boy, Rosh Move. Wow, it's your boy, Los, a.k.a. C.A.P. Brett. Scotty D, man, what it do? All right, so obviously we got a, um, a little bit of a, a, a guest, a guest host, a guest um, commentator. I'm home. <laughs> no, he ain't a guest no more. Yeah, I mean, we got Scotty D in the building. So, uh, one time for the one time. So, he's going to be giving us our thoughts on the things that we're talking about this week. But uh, first thing first, man, let's 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 tap into what Rumble was, was discussing. It was a very interesting conversation, man. He said we had a horse in the race that ain't really our horse. I mean, he ain't wrong when he right. <laughs> but, you know, you know. Definitely ain't wrong. But, I mean, you know, just like. Um, we we adopt certain people that we call them black. We you come to Louisiana and ball for us. You from Louisiana now? Drew Brees is definitely from Louisiana now. He can't. We ain't trying to hear nothing else. So you, Joe Burrows, shout out the boot. But I guess the point of what he's saying is, would you be okay if New Orleans raised like a million dollars for Austin because that's where Drew Brees from? I mean, number one, they let me know that people was investing their FEMA money. In the right places, and FEMA still still might be giving them checks. So, I mean, am I all right? I don't live in New Orleans. That's what they want to do with their money. Do your thing, Raj. What you think about your, um, that horse that's in the race? I mean, what I what I'm thinking about, and I'm glad I'm glad Roma brought this up. And I don't know if anybody else, because everybody, what I saw on Facebook was, oh my God, I, I couldn't hold my tears back. And I was so emotional, Joe Burrow and, and the governor and people were like, oh, y'all, y'all, all of y'all that was voting for the opposite of John Bell Edwards, y'all saw he was sitting next to Joe Burrow. What y'all think about that? The one thing that was going through my mind, and, and, and I know I just got what was going through Rumble Mind, but the one thing that was going through my mind is this nigga didn't prepare no speech mm. at all. <laughs> and he knew he was going to win the Heisman. I have a problem with his speech. I, I, really I had a very big problem with it. It was trash. A, like, it literally was trash. I mean, Lamar Jackson's speech wasn't no better. No, but but Lamar Jackson was coming on with it, man. Joe Burrow outfit was trash, yeah, and, nah. his feet was, and his speech was trash. They just let you know he wrote about football. And, and he's a white boy. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the I expected, honestly. Shoes. Yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. I expected that man to come like you know like I mean he had enough time to prepare. He knew he was winning the Heisman. Like he, I mm-hmm. think he won the Heisman after the Alabama game. It was nothing he could have done to lost out lose out on the Heisman. He had that long to prepare to a speech and it, and it was nothing. Like literally, he got up there and he said nothing. I don't think his speech. He was just nothing. cried. I don't think his speech was nothing. He said, "No, she can't give." You can't. He he said, "No, he didn't." He cried. 
First of all, first of all, he didn't thank God, so I was a little upset with him. But whatever, Man, uh, if that's not your, God, if that's not your, if that's not your ball Kwanzaa. game. <laughs> if that's not your ball game, I think people that celebrate Kwanzaa do that. But anyway, so um, that's not your ball game. Cool, but like then his speech was just trash. So I honestly, like, I really didn't feel nothing he was talking about. I think the bigger issue is just how Louisiana replied and how you know the the how how the state. <laughs> Just felt like Joe Burrow's our son, so this is what we need to do. That money could have did some big differences in Baton Rouge. You don't even have to go a mile off of Tiger Stadium mm-hmm. to be in Southside Baton Rouge and see that they need money and they need things, and they like, nah, let's go give it to the South, North, Northeast Ohio. But it was those same people living in those situations that probably donated some money. So two things about Joe Burrow. One, I got this from Rumble, but it's facts. Don't Joe Burrow look very Macaulay Caucus? Uh, I actually, I want to tell you, so you know, one of my nicknames among many is the Doopster. And I literally had my friend who does not watch football believing that that was actually Macaulay Caulkin. <laughs> but not Macaulay Caulkin. I just said, you remember Home Alone? He played in Home Alone. No, he didn't. That was, I remember his name. It was, uh, and somebody said Macaulay Caulkin. I was like, yeah, but he played in Home Alone too. <laughs> that was... Joe Burrow. Somebody gonna shoot you in your face. Oh, and then you know what? Three look in it Ohio, up. Huh? Because once you look it up, I won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> once you didn't made the investment of your time yeah. to try to see if you was lying. That's the win. <laughs> no, absolutely, man. So that one thing, he looks very Macaulay Caucus. Mm-hmm. The other thing I think is Joe Burrow looks like the opioid epidemic. The good side, though. <laughs> Like he ain't the he the he the good side of it. I don't think he the bad side. Like it get worse than that. I think he the functioning like I can still go out and do what I need to do. Yeah, he not day. shooting heroin. Nah, but he got pills. Yeah. He on them Addy's tough. Yeah, yeah I agree. no lie. Mm-hmm. Not agree. I ain't yeah, lying. That's probably why he can fit the ball in them tight windows yeah, like that. Like that. He, Ooh, he locked he in. Get spooked. Adderall. Yeah. Oh. Addy. Yeah. I ain't lying. Shout out to the Addy King. I ain't gonna say his name. Yeah, we are gonna be quiet on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, out. it's a lot to think about it. We're going to talk about some of our uh, favorite white boys as this podcast progresses. And uh, Joe Burrow may or may not made the list, but just kind of put that on your head, man. I uh, appreciate y'all kicking it with us this week for the Best Friend Weekend Podcast. So without further ado, I'm going to let y'all know what burns my boot at this week. The first thing that burns my boot at is um, people who put their phone... On Do Not Disturb at a certain time of the evening. D. Scott, what are your thoughts on that? I hate it. Uh, uh, it's just... What kind of person are you? Like, <laughs> like, why are you living life like that? Like, you just... You, you just, never know. You just got to just disconnect from the whole world. Just... Like, you just that busy. You That big, big of a famous person. You can't have no kids when you do that, though. Not no old I, I, I seen I seen a meme that said, uh, Don't call me, call Jesus. So, I'm like, so, so I was like, when he put the you know put the phone on do not disturb. I'm like, I just don't. I just you don't, don't give get a it. shit about nobody. Nothing, bro. In life, good God, Raj. I think I liken that to something you said on the pod before about how sometimes people will be like, I'm taking some time off of social media, and we say, man, you you're obviously doing too much if you feel you like you need it. to announce yeah. it and get yeah. off. I think it's the same kind of concept of do not disturb. What you think, Raj? Uh, I'm actually against you on this one. I th- actually think it's commendable. I think it's commendable when somebody can put their phone on Do Not Disturb. Because I think it's, I, like, I literally, I think all throughout the night, if I wake up in the night, the first thing I do is scratch around for my phone. And I think it's cool that people can, like, disconnect fully to get a good night rest. So I think it's pretty cool when people put their phone on Do Not Disturb. I think it's crazy. It's not something that I think I would do. I, but I do commend I think it's commendable. I, I think got a it's question for cool you, though, Raj. Got gotcha. you. Do you have a house phone? I don't. So my thing is, you literally like your parents never put their house phone on Do Not Disturb when they went to sleep at night. Like, so I'm, I I understand that. I don't I don't have a, I don't have that. Um, and and you know I guess a part of the reason why I don't is because I just I really I'm not expecting any calls that late. But um. Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't do it, so, so I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But I do think it's pretty cool when people could disconnect like that. Like, I mean, I, I'm not expecting any calls anytime soon. But what I'm saying is, is I just, 
I don't know. I don't but, know, bro. But the I thing just, is, the, pe- the, the people that disconnect, not even popping like that. <laughs> so it's like, you you disconnecting from somebody that's not going to call you anyway, or you not know going to text you anyway. Like, you know how dumb you got to feel if you put your phone, do not disturb, and then when you take it off, it don't nothing happen. Dry. Yeah. <laughs> like, <Straight> nobody <laughs> calls. So nobody knows. Hey, that's the worst. When you, when, that's the worst feeling when you in the announce world. When you put on your, uh, your, face, your IG story, my phone on do not disturb, and then you put it on, and then you wake up, you have no <laughs> alerts. <laughs> like, nothing. Nothing. You're not done what I, So what I will say, and your boys could alpha master me to death if y'all want, but what I will say is that do not disturb. The way that it works is if someone calls you two times in a row, then you get a notification. Then mm-hmm. the call actually goes through. So I guess to my point, um, <laughs> if I need to be alerted, I mean, people just need to call me twice. And if they know that, then it defeats the purpose of doing it then, right? Well, if you call me once, it's not important. I guess I, I guess do not twice disturb and would be like, ah, oh, them boys want just, just like, me to get out of bed and go to the club. Or, yeah. It wasn't loud enough. Yeah. Or it didn't go through. He in a bad area. Yeah. So I'm going to call again. <laughs> and then you going to answer he like, what's up, area, three Shit, in the morning. what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What's the time to set your phone to do not disturb? If you're going to set it to do not disturb, when would you set it from? What time? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think I would set mine at one okay. in the morning. And then back, back online at what? Um, six. In the okay, so that means after the club, you just don't want nobody to hit you. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I said it on weekends. Okay, okay. During the week. Monday and, through Friday. And, and you're the, let me ask this. So Thursday. Another reason to set it is you're a light sleeper? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Well, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, and I'm saying it burning my boot down, but let me tell you what happened. A little quick story. This morning, I'm sleep. My phone goes off. It's, um, it's my cousin Ashley. Ash dog hitting me up. 4.57 this morning. And he's like, hey, I helped somebody. Um, I needed to go to the airport or something. He was like, I, I made an airport run. And when I was coming back, the car broke down. Like I, I hit something in the road. And now I'm kind of on the side of the road. What you want me to do? Uh, what, what can you do? Are you up? Are you moving around? You going to work? And my first thought was... Why that motherfucker ain't took an Uber to the airport at four something in the morning? That's rude. And the second thing I thought was, why you calling me and not an Uber? Was my second thought. Uh, but we worked it out. And he said, nah, man. And he, and he downloaded the Uber app and it was then like 10 seconds. Oh, I don't know why he didn't have the Uber app. Whoa. I don't, these these are what? questions that I don't know. Primitive. But I couldn't go back to sleep. Oh. 5 a.m. I've been up since 5 a.m. So all I'm saying is, um, no. <laughs> all, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, um, <laughs> y'all stupid, y'all are stupid. Oh, all, all I'm saying is, Done. maybe I could have used "Do Not Disturb" this morning. Is all I'm saying. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so. but then he probably would have called, called me again. twice. <laughs> yeah, and then it would have been a wrap. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered anyway. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. I don't know, man. It's you gonna burn my booty? Oh yeah, I got one this week. That's why I interrupted you. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, nah, you know on Facebook people always post their little uh, accomplishments. So somebody on Facebook, I don't like when people post like their high school diploma <laughs> and then an associate's degree next to it. Mm. Like, and then the caption was, "Not many people got one of these, two of these." You're right. Not a lot of people. That's got what those. I'm saying. Like, I, <laughs> that instantly just made me mad. Yeah. <laughs> From your story. Yeah, I don't. I don't know a lot of people who it burns with an associate's degree. Like, I feel like. You really a uh, college dropout in my mind. You only did you can you can finish two years. more two more you only years. Got two hot years. <laughs> How many classes is that? That's not that many. It's like sixteen hours. <laughs> you couldn't do that shit in a, in a semester. Yeah, you know I mean? I, I, that, that, that oh. my booty when I started. I just wanted to share that with you. I think if before. you like if you graduate early, like in high school, and you got that last semester off, you can get an associate yeah, in you know, a yeah. semester no, or some really, shit like that. No, yeah. no, you could you could you could go have classes all four years and have, get an associate yeah. in some some districts. And he, he was shining like, yeah, like, like he really was on. <laughs> but while y'all talking, Roger hey, does have an associate's degree. So. He ain't posted though. I have an associate's degree, and but, I think, and I and I let, let me tell you, look, okay, so on one side, it, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, Los. Um, I didn't necessarily celebrate my associate's degree. In fact, they was mad at me. Like they was yeah. like, so you not gonna walk? And it was like, so <laughs> the you know graduation is this day, and I'm like, all right, I'm not coming. And it was like, what you mean you're not coming? You know, like kind of like like that. And it was like, nah, you have to come. And I was no. like, no, I don't. <laughs> like I'm still gonna get my degree. Yeah. I promise you. And so, um, 
and so like you know on that side i, I, I feel you because i didn't i didn't want to celebrate that because i didn't think it was like a huge accomplishment for yeah. me but i do think um that for some people uh and i'm and i'm sure you can agree that it is a huge accomplishment no. Um, because of everything that they've been through in their life. So okay. I don't think that that should burn your boot in. You can get a social I think that's degree. Some, you, you, I, can get a, you can get a whole degree in jail. So a social degree that's, in the free world. That, shout out. This podcast is brought to you, Big Troy. This podcast is brought to you, my brother-in-law, Keith. One time. One time for the one time. Probably got a master's in jail. The thing about it is, though. He probably I'm, got a doctorate, a reverend yeah. of doctorate. I just want to say, Louis, before you even say what you say. Two years and get your There is nothing... There is nothing that you can say to me that's gonna make me that's gonna change my mind about a nigga <laughs> celebrating his wins. And an associate degree might not be as big of an, a win as, as a bachelor's degree or which whatever you got or whatever any of your friends got. That's but that man up. did his thing. In my in my opinion, I done got some friends. I got some friends that may have celebrated some things on Instagram, and and I'm like, damn, I could do that in my sleep. But maybe that man can't, and so I'm I'm on, I'm with it. Maybe that skull your sausage. Maybe not rise no, 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 to no, the no, level. No, 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 it burned my booty. <laughs> nah, burned my booty. Don't post it. Don't, but he was trying to shine. He was trying to shine. That's why I ain't like about it. He was trying to shine, and he in the comments talking slick like, yeah. That's why I ain't well, like about it. I mean, on that same point, I'm gonna give you something else that burned my booty and that kind of um, runs with the same thing. And Los, you gonna know who posted this. Um, them 2020 hoes burn my booty. Um, posting things like, and if you get tired of seeing me win or get opportunities, <laughs> you will be, and I repeat, will be sick in 2020. <laughs> and then the next post, old, lady, old girl had 2018 losses, 2019 lessons, 2020 blessings. <laughs> I hate these 2020 hoes. They didn't start it already. It's and it's all about what 2020 yeah. fitting to be, dog. You relax. Hey. The funny part about it is going to hey. be 2025. <laughs> and they're going to be like, <laughs> 2020 lessons, 2021 blessings, 2022, I was lying. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I don't know. But it, it be, oh, it be the hey, most I, procrastinating I, I ones. I want to let y'all boys know that I plan on having some sort of... I don't. It's not going to be nothing like that. It's not going to be cliche. But I plan on having some kind of 2020. It's 2020! It's going to be 2020. 2020. Oh, you like, want that's, those. Yeah. No, I'm saying like I plan on having some sort of 2020 post. Like, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be... Just put these 2020. 20, 20, 20, 20, just get the logo 20 from points, 2020. 20, no, 20, just put... 20 points, 20, 20 rebounds. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I might put some heads. shit like that. Two, I don't know what space, it is. Space, 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 zero, space, 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 two, space, 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 zero. Just do it like... Uh, what's his name? Barbara Walters, man. 2020, man. My grandmother used to make me watch that on Friday night. <laughs> 2020. It was, it was good. Oh, that was good. That good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> 20 slash 20. That would be dope. Yeah, I mean, it, I might do it that. D Scott, what you think? You see a lot of this. Are you more involved with the social media ism than both of us? Nah. I just. What burns my boot in <laughs> <laughs> is the biggest procrastinators. Say, so if you just now starting your stuff, whatever, starting your goals or mm. starting whatever you're doing in 2020, you behind. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> like, I like think you still in 2017. What are you, what are you, like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, it's just, it's out of hand. Still wearing nurse Any, outfits to drive the daycare van. Anything for the likes. Yeah. Like, like, bro, you're not ahead of the game at all. I think, but that goes back to the point we were just talking about. I think wins are subjective. Like, what, what one person is calling a win is like what we call it an associate's degree. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, right. it, it, I mean. Shut my nigga Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. God, that's crazy. That's hey, Rob, I got food with you, bro. <laughs> I'm on your side, big dog. I got something for you, Scott. <laughs> I'll be on this too. Just oh, he coming. He coming. <laughs> Roger, baby, baby. Oh, um, another thing. I ain't got a lot more. Another thing that burned my boot in this week is um, I saw somebody out like at the Saints game the other day when we was watching this. Shout out. Um, <laughs> boy, I had a phone clip. <laughs> no, 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 no. The big what age? Daddy. The big daddy. What age? He was probably 40. 41, yeah, 42. Yeah, yeah. He don't get a pass. Nah. I mean, certain things could come back. If he had a beeper, I would have been like, ooh. Did he have a shirt tucked on the yeah, inside? Yeah, the clip. yeah, showing the clip. Yeah, yeah. Showing the clip. But it was a big Samsung, though. It wasn't that phone. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, so Samsung. Let me, I don't understand why let me people ask you still this. think certain things is okay. Go ahead, Raj. 
Let me ask you this. So, all right, cool. I'm like, I want to tell you that I'm 100% against the clip. Like, and I think it's funny <laughs> that the out of box still come with the clip, right? But, uh, but, but on the flip side, um, I think what will burn my boonet even more, and I, and in my my depiction of what you're saying right now is this is this guy, is that you got the clip, but you got the shirt over, like the shirt. Like flipped under the under the clip. Absolutely. If you got the clip, if you just like, if that's what you like, and you like a raise your shirt up, then I think I'm cool. I think I'm all right with it. I'm a little bit better with it. But if you got the if you got like the shirt on display, mm-hmm. right? Like the clip on display. Like my yeah. shirt is longer than the clip, but I got the clip on display with my shirt under it. Yeah. Then I'm 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 not with it. That boy and, took it back to 2003 real fast. Tall T phone clip. But speaking of what you just said, Raj, out of boxes burn my booty. Like, the idea of anything clunky, chunky with your phone is 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, it all have been about, been about sleek phones. Like, anything that makes that your phone bulky is ass. And pants are every single around, person, so. Every single person on this podcast, maybe even every single person that's been on this podcast has an inside job. So I'm not... <laughs> I'm not um, Against the the uh, the, I'm not against life proof. I'm not against out of box because some people got outside jobs. Some people work off show. You know this podcast is brought to you by uh, by by small town. If small town got an out of box or life proof, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Like they work outside right, in the construction, you nails, it, you and shit. It, you, put, you made me get some perspective right there. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. That shouldn't burn my booty. It shouldn't. But I still don't want to see them out. Put that shit in your pocket. That if you walk around with that big out of box, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Um, I got three more, man. Um, one we talked about the other day, wow. the whole, I take him. That burned my booty. Raj, what did you think DJ I meant when I said you? that the other day? <laughs> I'll take him. I'll take him. <laughs> Janoris Jenkins, I'll take him. I'll take him. I hate that. <laughs> I hate when any time a, a football player or a basketball player is linked to your team, you repost it and be like, oh, shit, I take you. I take you. I take you. Nigga, every pickup is not a good pickup just because in name this is a this is a person, right? I don't know. Like, if you are a Chiefs fan and you're like, Colin Kaepernick is linked to the Chiefs and you're like, oh, I take him. Why would you take him? Why do you want Colin Kaepernick if you're the Chiefs? So I can make him a taste on here, a white boy, right? <laughs> <laughs> they want their own white boy, right? Anybody with name recognition, they don't even have to be good. No. Cutting like Michael Bennett for the for the uh, for them boys. I think I saw these guys. I can't. Post. You know what? Well, I, I, take, like, I, bro, I can't stand them goddamn small ass pads. That's all I got to say. That's what I my <laughs> Roger yeah. can't stand them making little pads. Yeah. No, I, I just need I need these guys to defend him. You a Cowboys fan? I fuck with these niggas. Like I'm saying, from the West, yeah, all day. We got into it uh, when we were younger, but you know, the West part of where. No, everybody ain't from here. No, he went to Taylor High School. Okay, but nobody, knows, I mean, we got a, we got a we national global. podcast. This ain't like... You're right. I apologize for everyone that don't know. <laughs> if you know someone that says they're from Houston, Texas, and doesn't say they're from a Texas, they're not really from Houston. <laughs> but we're going to let them make it. a consist consists of, uh, let's see, if you come an out-of-towner, out-of-towner from the Beltway... Which is a, a long road that makes a circle in Houston. But if you were to exit Bel Air, uh, Bissonette, Beechnut, maybe Richmond, just depending on where you're at. Going all the way to Highway 6, another highway. Uh, stop stairs, though. We don't do the a crossover with uh, Mission Bend and all that. We're not, that's not A Leaf. That's, that's Southwest, kind of. Uh, but A Leaf, Texas. Shout out to my my nigga Toby, uh, his big brother Joe. One time for uh, Young Daisy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One time for Christian Pope. <laughs> C Pope, Pimpin, uh, who yeah. was Lizzo. Yeah, you know I mean, you know what I'm saying. Lizzo, Lizzo. One time. Ain't leave on the mat. Get your table you breaking the ass. Shoot, <laughs> Lizzo, was nah, break, uh, Lizzo was breaking the uh, uh, the cafeteria. Uh, probably Elsie. I ain't like, she did that before. Yeah. Raj, one time for who? What? What? What's your favorite play? My, 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 what's my name? What's your name, son? My mind ain't Michael Bennett, man. Hey, <laughs> let me. Hey, hey let me, my Seattle Seahawks. Hey, hey let me tell you what I thought. Man. Let me tell you what I thought. Now, I'm not, my direction's not gonna be quite right, quite right, but let me tell you what I thought. D Scott was saying, hey, if you get on the Bellway, you know what I'm saying, and like um, you, you know, like you exit off of Bissonette, 
And uh, you take that left on click, then you'll see. <laughs> hey, relax. <laughs> hey. Relax. I don't know what the fuck you want. Yeah. Uh, relax. Uh, they said it'd be your own people, big dog. Got to bleep that boy out. <laughs> God damn, dog. No, and hey, what what color the house is? He, he, he tried to you be know what I'm saying? If you ever in New Iberia, trying to take turn this, on trying Sugar to take Road. <laughs> I'm trying to, that's a long road. It's a long road that make a circle. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take a picture in a pink suit, right? And, uh, in front of, um, this house I saw on, uh, one of the, one of the aforementioned roads. <laughs> hey, what kind of suit you going to have on? Short, short daddy. <laughs> I think we 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 the ones who came up with the term short daddy suit. Short, daddy short suit. daddy. I already knew that. I was talking short about daddy suit. Short daddy. Short daddy. Short daddy. Hey, LeBron suit. did it. We yeah. just named it. Yeah. Short daddy yeah. suit, short man. Daddy. Hey, ain't nothing short wrong with that. Suit. Two more things that burn my boot in, man. Um, at that same Saints game, I went over there and I went to the to to the restroom at Prospect Park. Um, stalls that's too high. So they give you some piss bounce back, <laughs> burn my booty. Oh, it kills me. <laughs> that like, stall need to be on the floor, <laughs> on the ground. I need it in the ground. Can't like get amen, kids, nigga. Amen, like, my brother. I don't need a stall that's sitting right. at three and a half feet in the air. <laughs> oh man. So where that bitch got some bounce back on your hand, your <laughs> clothes, something. You ain't lying. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Woo. It's okay. burning. That boot ain't burnt, folks. Yeah. I ain't lying. I, I thought I was shoes when you walk out of there. Huh, bro? Bad for business. I'd rather be on my shoes than my hand. Because it's, it's not like it's back. clean and I'm pissing in it. It's my piss. His piss. It's, his, it's everybody piss. Everybody piss. No homo. It's 200. It's A's piss. Oh, man. Because they're not even cleaning it at night. They never clean it at Prospect. It's, the urinal? Nobody clean no urinal. They put oh, bleach in there. No, they probably just flush it the whole time. <laughs> they flush it six times and then go on. <laughs> Mexican ain't trying to do no work, <laughs> but why? I but why they be having like toilet paper in urinals and shit like that? That shit pr- piss me off too. Who? Lemons and who? stuff like yeah. bro, you run your whole drink in here, bro. Pour it in the. <laughs> 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 let, me, let, me, let me get the pissy straight. Yeah, a straw. What, a <laughs> what the hell, yeah. Roger? Take it. You have no experience with this. You're not commenting at all. He don't like mixed. I've never clubs. been to Prospect Park. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you have, you motherfucker. Yes, you actually have. He was too busy at school. Well, I don't know that I've been to Prospect Park. <laughs> well, any place that's um, urinal is too high. And the la- look, the last thing that burned my boot at, this is just specifically for you, Raj. Mm. Man, I went to um, I went to church this week. What? Oh, Boys in what? church, man. I'm changing my life, man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to be a better man. Hey, bro, man. who hurt you? You Okay. Hey, man, I'm just trying to be a better man. That's all, man. That's what's up. It's nah, 2020, man. I'm trying to be a better man. Nah, we got to have a conversation at the You ain't fooling podcast. us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that one right now. Hurt people hurt people, so I don't want to hurt nobody. So, 20, so I'm going to church so I can, not, so I can heal. 2019, the light. <laughs> 2020, Jesus. <laughs> Chick-fil-A open on a Sunday. <laughs> Up. Okay, y'all done? Are you finished or you done? Went to church. Yeah, so I went to church, Raj, and this is this is what you're gonna understand. Your mama was here. Cutting, I hate what burn my boot is when people when they sing the responsorial song, all they sing the Our Father. Like, cutting, just say it in church. Like when it's time to say the Our Father, just say it. I don't like when it's like Our Father, and they have a whole little rendition. Not a fan of that, man. But specifically the responsorial song. You know what I'm talking about, Raj? Well, so I know I do feel you, but I think that the responsorial song... Oh, you mean... Okay, so you mean like singing the words, not yeah. singing the song. You sing the uh, song, but then when the words come in the middle and boys just fucking sing it, I'm like, come on, man, just say it. No, I do. I do. I, actually, I absolutely feel you because every single church's rendition is different. Absolutely. But but I will say that at uh, I went to church in Monroe. Monroe, Louisiana. Shout out. This podcast is brought to you by Arkansas. Row City Ho Hater. <laughs> I went to I went to uh, I went to church in Monroe, Catholic Church, and this dude, it was a black church, black Catholic church, and this dude sang the Our Father. Yeah. And I I kid you not, a tear fell down my eye because it was the best sung Our Father I've ever heard in my life. But you know, so, I but agree most with of that, the time, no, I agree with it's, that. Most of the time, it's something that's like I don't know when y'all gonna like. I don't know when y'all gonna like jump to the next, the next 
few words. You and know your what hands I'm in the exactly air, you don't know what, what to sing. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to follow along, but I don't. I don't know y'all. I don't know the song. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I don't know how it goes. Me go. and D. Scott Baptist, we sang everything. So y'all impatient mm-hmm. uh, Negroes in church. So sometimes as a Catholic church, when it's time to say our Father, we put our, everybody hold a hand, and they'll be like, "Our Father who art in heaven, how be that name?" Oh, y'all hold hands. Out with me. Yeah, and then it, and he's like, and then the priest say his part. Yeah. And that's, then, that's what they say before a football game. But then you go to some churches and you got your hands and they're like, "Our oh, Father." Oh, you got, you, got, you got to have some real. Who art in heaven? Yeah, 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 yeah. But if it's live, I'm with it. Yeah, yeah. But if it's just singing to just Dry. be singing, our Father. Who? Oh. But no, like Raj just said, it's like the pace. Raj, how might it be if it's a bad pace? A bad pace. Bad pace. Our Father. <laughs> Who art in heaven? Oh yeah, that's a bad pace. And you gonna be hollow it be thy name? Like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I don't know when they're coming with the thy name. Now, now what's the good place? What's the good pace? Oh well, I mean, I'm saying I don't. I'm not about to give you a good pace. I could give you the bad pace. I don't know. I told you, honest with you, I'd rather not sing it at all. I'm with you. No, but I'm with you. I'm with you, Los. Is that I'm in with you, Al? That I. Don't necessarily think that there should be a pace at all. I think that it should be spoken word. <laughs> like before the football game. <laughs> I don't like how football... You know what? Let me go on that. On the same tangent, let me tell you what burns my boot. I don't like how fast football players say to our father. Our father. Who are heaven? How are we on it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Because they don't know it. Because they don't no, know. No, it. no, you're learning it. it depends on yeah. if, if it's the fifth game, you know about it. Oh, yeah. uh, it ain't the Nicene Creed. No, it's right. the. It's, it's but they give you an A Leaf. It's, it's 617 nationalities. A Leaf don't even own half of A Leaf. Chinatown do. Anyway, but they all know. Catholic here. Yeah. No. So there's that. Except D. Scott. <laughs> Baptist. Yeah, Baptist, Baptist. Yeah. Not a nomination. Yeah. But his, he bank in the Chinatown. Mm-hmm. So I know they, my bank's secured. <laughs> I'm just saying it's bad enough. Like Catholic Church is all about routines. So mm-hmm. when I'm in there, I want to be able to 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 know what I'm talking about because so I wait, grew y'all do up the same it. exact thing every time I go to church. Every time. Catholic church Bro, in the whole world the, is having the, the same, same at each time? gospel and readings wow. at every church. Bro, How do you do but that? the songs are different. Oh, like the responsorial psalms and everything. Well, the responsorial psalms are the same, but the songs are different. The pace is different, and that makes the difference, right? Okay. The homily is different. So the homily is basically like when he reads something out the gospel, mm-hmm. and then the priest says, his, like, like, let's talk about what that meant. Oh, okay. That's different. Okay. So if you got a good priest, he's going he gonna to come on with it. If yeah. it's like a little Filipino dude, not to say Filipino priests aren't good, but you there's a tendency. Like, you just said it. I did say it. Go ahead. But them boys, <laughs> that's their ticket to come to America. Hey. I think Manny Pacquiao was our um, priest when I was growing up. <laughs> he... I th- I, Okay. Yeah. He used to fight niggas uptown in New Iberia and then he oh, got on. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I don't, you know, I'm going to ride with you even though you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely not right. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, but look, my first only time going to a Catholic church was for a wedding. When I say drop it on them knees, no oh. homo. Back and forth, back and forth. Like, all, I said, "This is this is wild." You, you know, heard they my got me? but y'all wouldn't y'all wouldn't say that if y'all grew up that way. No, no you like, don't got me. The way yeah. that y'all worship. They passed the cup around. You got drunk at the same yeah. cup. I was yeah. like, "Oh no!" So my thing is, I like to try to go up there and just stick my tongue out and make him put the the, the communion on my <laughs> tongue. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't feel it. <laughs> they don't what, feel hey. it like we feel it. <laughs> Raj, they don't feel it. They don't feel it like we feel it because. Well, because the thing is, it's like I, it's usually old people for some reason, and then people holding babies. They stick their tongue out. Where you get it placed on your tongue. You, you, all you, I, you put your hand out, you get it, whatever. So, but you're, you're, not, so you're not drinking behind. Them. But if you no, I don't. I don't ever. I, I never drink I, the the wine. Oh, never. Not? never. So I don't think I ever bro. drink it either. Uh, you know, you for first communion. Like half communion. Yeah, you're not even pure. But what I will, you what I will say, <laughs> what I will say, Al, is that I get I half. <laughs> get that man half, cousin. You don't drink the wine. Wait, it's not better. You, you ever been to a country church where they have all the little braids on one little tree? Yeah, you break they, it. No, no. People put their hand in the tree. Oh, yeah. one yeah. little. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, it's burnt. The boot in is burnt. This little Baptist humor is cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, so they put all, they put all the, uh, the communion, Post. all the bread in, on one little tree. Loose. 
And then they be they small, so everybody they pass it down the road. So people be putting, they trying to get that one little. They touch all of them. I don't need. I don't need to eat one then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because germs is real. Oh, germs is real. But if you, but but you but you saved. Yeah, I'm about to say and sanctified. It's the body. Of, it's the body of Christ. All those that. Christians that ain't got no germs. Mm-mm. Not that time. Mm-mm. Now once they leave the church, they come right. back. Off you go in the pastor study. We don't have the heart to tell him it's herpes. No. <laughs> Raj, can you bring this back full circle? Because oh right now I'm struggling. Pastor no, I just don't ever want to go to church with you. Because I feel like <laughs> if we sit next if we sit next to each other in church, that's the idea. Like that's the worst that could happen. Which because I think could happen. Like the not the time. worst. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. like one of the things it's Raj, one you of the act things like we didn't like go to happen. church together in the same church growing up. We did, but you always sat across the way. Mm-hmm. With his people in. You always sat on the other side. It was side too good to church. sit with you, bro. No, I we never, we wasn't that cool at the time. We, it, it took, it took, uh, it took. He was getting smashed by the so priest. We... <laughs> dang! All right, relax. Hold on. God damn, bro. Muscles. That wasn't me. I'm just trying to see what type of partners I got. I said, bro, <laughs> y'all all bro. That's it. And if it, and if that did happen, that would have made me the man that I am today. So why are you I'm talking about, about it? Thank, I was about to say thank you, Lord. You know, yeah, you pure. but it didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's not get that confused. No. So we're not trying. It but you know, didn't. We have right, a national right. podcast. We have a national following. So we don't try to say things that are too insensitive in that sense. And that might be insensitive to some people out there. D. Scott, I know you don't listen every week. I know you participate and you're a member of the podcast, but you don't listen all the time. So I I just want you to I missed two episodes. (laughs) Now I'm stoned. Man. (laughs) Sorry. My bad. (laughs) Let's revisit some big stories for the week, man. One thing I want to talk about, first thing first, just let's go back to last week. We talked about Eminem and Nick Cannon. Mm -hmm. And I just want to revisit this for a second because Eminem never responded. Nick And Nick Cannon said... I got the dub, right? So I was listening to Brilliant Idiots this week, and Charlemagne mm-hmm. was like, nigga, why y'all think Eminem is the goat of ever? Like, why y'all think Eminem is non fuckwittable on the mic? Like, what made y'all come to this conclusion? And he said a whole bunch of reasons, but he never said one, and I was like, the first thing that came to my mind was like, oh, it's 8 Mile. Because he was battle rapping in a movie against some fake people, Papa Dop and Papa, Papa Lotto and Papa Dot. Mm-hmm. And now we like, oh, can't nobody, em- fuck, can't nobody fuck with him. But in real life, who did Eminem ever slay that's like, oh, he going to be like the dopest rapper ever if it come to a battle rap? That's all I'm saying. I guess for me, I don't even think it's that. I just think that people know that he's willing to go far beyond Crazy. whatever little rules they have for battle rap. I don't, I'm not with it, man. You know I'm not with I think that's why. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I agree. I just, I, I just, I, th- I think that's why. Mm. He has to, he's, he's capable of taking it to a whole nother level. Can I say this a different way? Go ahead. I'm gonna say it a different way. I feel like if you asked any niggas on the street, like us, like people who really hardcore grew up on hip hop, and you said, "What's five rappers that you don't want to fuck with on the mic on some on some on some battle rapping?" Right? Nice and this this is impromptu right now because because we didn't we didn't say this was gonna be part of pie right? I think people would say people like. Oh, Eminem, Kendrick, J. Cole, and they would go down that that list, and they, Andre three thousand, wow. and they they take lyricism yeah. and think that Fuck that means rap, that bro. I could battle rap, no. and I just don't think it is. I we, think if I you don't, don't play with Drake, me personally, I don't want to play with Fifty Cent too no, much. I definitely want to play with Fifty Cent. That's that's two good ones. Yeah, I don't, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't so, and I don't want to so, play with the people. Who, who battle rap for a living? So, uh, I don't want to yeah. play for, with Murder Charlie Booth. Clips and all yeah, that. I don't want to play with none of them boys who battle rap for yeah. a living, dog. On a um, on a ahead, on right. a Fifty Cent thing, I just don't necessarily think I want to play with him because he gonna, he just Instagram. Like I feel like his Instagram who? game 50? is like his yeah Fifty. Yeah, absolutely. His Instagram like he gonna he gonna embarrass you through Instagram and gonna, just that's it. But on some on some real stuff, I I kind of I kind of don't really know where you're going, but I don't want to play with Eminem either because I mm. just feel like he's gonna put out a silly song about me. Like it's gonna be something silly. It's not gonna be something like let me let me uh, let me put out a you know. I feel like if I if I do Drake, Drake gonna put out a hit, a pop hit, and diss me. So I don't want to do that, and I don't want to play with Eminem because he's gonna put out a silly song and start going ha 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 ha, and I don't want to play with Nick. Him. That. He's Nick just turned crazy, that shit on yeah, him. A crazy white boy. But no, I I I think for me. I don't want to play with Drake because Drake is going to go find out real facts mm-hmm. that's fucked up about my life. I might not want to play with Pusha T. Either. Yeah, Pusha T too. He going to <laughs> find out real facts that, that's, that's really in your life and fuck it up and blow it up and then make it a hit out of that. I think that's that's way more talent than just talking about a, a person regular like that. Mm-hmm. And what I think with, with, with Eminem is he's not going to go do the research enough 
to make it. He's just going to go off what he know. Like, even with the little, the little line he threw at Nick. With the like, okay, yeah. cool. I don't know how much y'all was on this because I wasn't on this super. But I know Nick ended his his little diss song talking about some who would have thought the, the kill shot would have came from a cannon. And I was like... And I thought about it for a second. I was like, oh, and I had to look it up. I was like, oh, Kill Shot was the name of the song mm-hmm. when Eminem was going at it with MGK. MGK so I went and listened to the MGK and Eminem shit, Ooh, and MG- MGK killed Eminem. So why are we saying nobody MG- can fuck with Eminem when MGK, MGK murdered him? Murdered that boy. <laughs> I'm talking about chalk, chalk lines. It was bad. He got a video. It was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. And MGK got something. I, I just I just can't oh, take yeah. Drumline serious. <laughs> I just, I, it sound good. He had some good things he said. Like, I'm with, I but am, it's like, when somebody wrote it for you, because you do Wildin' Out, and your bar is nearly not as tough as like that when you're on Pluto, the show. He wow. those guys. He yeah, Pluto. so it's like, I, I like the creativity part that you got help this time, wow. and you know, it didn't sound whack. It was a team, but I think once, it was a team effort. Once again, love don't cost a thing. <laughs> so I, I feel just, like if you ask what his most fire lyrics was ever, somebody would say like, Oh, you, you don't know how it feels to get left out there by yourself? Yeah. Well, let me show you. Yeah. It's like music yeah, lines. Yeah. I mean, not music lines. I'm sorry. Drop, Drop the mic. <laughs> lines from movies that he's done, though. Yeah, it's it's mean, not... Let's not forget that he was a he a savage out there in Hollywood, though. He a gigolo, he too. Yeah. And he fucked Mariah Carey and got cheering with her. Yeah. That's, that's a big deal. I mean, but he... he that's not, Mariah Carey. He, he, he Mariah knocked Kim K off first before all the well, upgrades. With, and Terrence Howard and Reggie Bush and, yeah. And, yeah. and Ray J and... And, and uh, okay. what's the wide receiver one? Uh, Dallas Austin. Uh, Dallas Austin. Yeah. Uh, Austin, some Austin. Austin. Played, Dallas, you know. Yeah, played yeah, for him. the Cowboys. Miles Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles, yeah. One, of them, one of them Austin people, yeah. I think it is Kim K, though. We could have hit if we was in L.A. right now. <laughs> Ten years ago, that's a big and famous. You know what? No, hey, let's just, talk about somebody. Just hang with a famous nigga. <laughs> that's a D. Little... Ray Davis hit too. But go ahead. But anyway, see, Raj, I was getting out of Raj. You hit? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You had to put the rated off stamp on this one. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all. I, I got ridiculous people on the podcast this week. Um. Right. There's another thing that I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna I'm bring this to you first because um, you you you've been in a in a in the struggle with me it's with this for a bunch of here. years. Um, <laughs> what do you think about people who buy the same shoes and how this is a phenomenon right now? That this past week, everybody like on December the 14th, they like boys bought them breads again, them Jordan 11 breads. Ooh. You like that, That's huh? Cool, I like that shit. That is good. Hey, this podcast is brought to you by um, Bamboo Rum Company, man. Uh, shout That's out. Wayne and I don't know who got it. I mean, I know who got it for me, man. One of my coworkers got it for me. Shout out. It's, it's smooth, super smooth and it's sweet. Um, but it's that's the, that's the one time I'm gonna give it a shout out until they paying this money. So um, that bamboo is that bamboo is something to get, man. Um, but Raj, what you think about that? That the, that the internet is going ham on people who continuously buy the same shoes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just think breads are at this point in my for me they played out. Mm. Um, I didn't uh, get them for the same so reason, I'm, but go ahead, shoot. I'm not, yeah, nah, they super duper played out. Like I'm not about to wear eleven you know, because one I already got them. Like I got them already, so I'm not, I'm not gonna buy them again for what, you know? Oh, maybe if I messed up my other ones, but um, but no, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really with what I really wish. What I really wish, uh, you know, the Jordan family would do is just continuously make different pairs of ones and leave all of them other the mother new shoes away. They said nothing yeah. but a word. And Concords. If you're gonna go to eleven, make Concords. Yeah. 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 But I still I don't know what like I feel like Breads got to a point to where like they was like the old like I feel like the Atlanta Falcons shoe. Uh, like at one time the Atlanta Falcons mm-hmm. was hot. The Chicago they had Michael Bull. Vick and stuff. Okay. And everybody had an Atlanta Falcon jersey. And like everybody wore red and black. Even do rags went to red and black. Mm-hmm. So I'm not <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I'm, yeah. I'm not with the red and black movement. You're not wrong when you're right, Raj. Smooth. I, I mean, he's saying that, Raj, and I, I never own. I mean, I had a pair of um, Space Jams. I had a pair of Breads. I've never had a pair of Concords. So, so in my head, Concords. The next time they come around, I'm gonna get them. But I always felt like Elevens was played. Like when I was in college, they was dope. I needed them, and I got every pair that I wanted. But then, like as a grown up, you you hit the nail on the head. It's ones and it's fours for me. Like that's all. Fours be killing my feet. Mm. <laughs> that pinky toe. And fours do hurt. I don't wear fours. I don't wear fours no more because uh-huh. fours are uncomfortable. Yeah. Hey, 
I ain't lying. The aesthetics, though, man. I like fours, man. <laughs> I they like cool. to look at fives on the shelf because they're reflecting, but I don't like to Rhymes. wear them either. Chris Chris White tee. Some uh, distressed jeans. And some nice pair of ones. Mm-hmm. It's an ultimate mm-hmm. fit. Mm-hmm. That's, all black, 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 black. That's all it is. Wearing black one. That's all it is. And then and then let me give you don't something have else. Nice little, nice uh, little best uh, friend. dad hat on. And a fresh cut. Best friend weekend. Best friend weekend hat to go with it with your little shag hanging out the back. That's fire too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it. <laughs> For the record, I still got a um, pair of t- a size twelve. Shattered back boys in the closet. I mean, I'm gonna shop them on StockX eventually. I'm just waiting for the price to go out. But if you still, if you want to get at me, get at me. I'm Shout out. Still this them. podcast yeah, is brought to you by my cousin Brody. Uh, Brody Fusion Lady. What size? What size are they? Size twelve. My size. Where they at? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he hating? <laughs> what is wrong with Los right now? Stop it. But you know what's funny? I went to get some Christmas presents at the Sharpstown Mall the other day. <laughs> And uh, when I walked in, I was at like um, what you call that foot action or whatever. And a dude walked to the store, to the counter and asked and some asked for something. And the woman was like, "No, we ain't got them." And then I went to Foot Locker to get some like to because they didn't have the shoes I was looking for. And another dude walked to the counter and was like, "Something, something, something." He's like, "Well, I ain't got them," meaning that people are going to the store currently looking for bread elevens mm-hmm. and thinking they're gonna find them at the store right now. No way. <laughs> you, you gotta be an absolute asshole. And, and I, I'm saying I'm talking to my cousin. Um, he was like, "Hey man, he called me. Hey man, I know you just couldn't walk to the go up in the store and get joints." And I'm say, "Bro, you got to be out your mind." But then I realized too, he been living in Mississippi, little small military towns, and he used to just go on. You know, everybody can't afford two and some hot tennis shoes out there, so he used to go on and he was trying to buy um some for him and his son. So he ended up taking the L or whatever. But I think he ended up fine. But he, he had to overpay for him. But I was like, you got to be, you didn't know that? Like, come on, dog. You got to know. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand it's how somebody. lottery that. nowadays. Rod, do you think that, is it even possible? If I think what? To go to the store and cop some 11 if you wear 15, right now. If you wear 15 or 17. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I don't, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think it's possible. I don't think it's possible to get them early at a place like Foot Locker and whatnot. No, I mean, like I think it's a week, possible. like a week after they came out. Yeah. Oh no, That's no, what I'm saying. no. The dude so went look, to the store let me tell you what it is. Week. <laughs> let me tell you what it is. So look, like, and I'm not saying, and 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 I don't want nobody on this podcast that want the Bread Elevens to take this to heart, but I feel like if you go buy the Bread Elevens, um, partially you got a little clownery in you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but maybe you never maybe you never had them before, so I get it. So you so I take that back. But on the flip side, whenever they got shoes like that that come out, you got the clowns that buy them, and then you got the people that like actually want them. You know, like mm-hmm. actually like the like the sneaker heads that might collect shoes and call them the 2019 breads. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. So you got a mixture. Slight differences. And then they got the then they so you, then they glasses. got the ones Inside. like that like that's like super duper exclusive that come out that it's like not even a shot. It's not even a shot that you're going to get those in the store. Like, it's not even a mm-hmm. shot if you're not, like, a, a pure sneakerhead that you're going to get. Those cool. But the, for the breads, no way. People going to buy those, and people that don't even want them going to buy them. And especially don't in care December, about yeah, around yeah. Christmas time. One of my like, homegirls, that too. niece, was like, I got an extra ticket if you want it. I'm like, you're 12. Like, yeah. you don't know. You don't even know the significance of this shoe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't have a problem with people buying, like, in the, in, the, in the conversation that I really wanted to have about it, and I think we can have that for a second, is that I really just kind of didn't understand the concept as far as, like, when people hating on the fact that we buy the same shoes over and over and over. I think it, the Bread 11s is just the most recent iteration of what we're talking about. Mm. But if they drop some Bread 1s, we all go and buy them hoes. Yeah, like, nah. it's some one, some black and red ones coming nah, out. I have, nah. like, nah. three pairs of yeah. <laughs> black and red one yeah. shoes. I, I need that. Facts. Not breads, but just the, just like the red toe. Yeah. Yeah. I need that. Yeah, well, yeah I just got to get it. <laughs> yeah, Run me those. Run that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Grab every those. lottery. Every every little thing. Hey, man, look. Why you got you here, um, D. Scott? Man, look. This week we made a little post. Got a little traction. Um, because I was just talking about buying from Jordan. And on some levels, people would say, oh, that's supporting black business. A lot of people would say it's not because Jordan don't give a shit about niggas. He don't. But what I did a lot this summer, I mean, not sorry, this 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 Christmas season, is to support black business for the holidays. So that's what I'm all about. 
So, D. Scott, I went holla at you and said, let me get one of these demi dolls. Let the people know out there what a demi doll is so they can understand how to support black business and how to do and the cool shit you got going on. Hey, hey man, say man. No, uh, real talk. This is this is crazy because it's still surreal to me. But my three year old daughter has her own business. She sells dolls that look just like her, like brown girls, black girls, girls with like minded that are intelligent, smart, beautiful, big hair, just melon and popping. Uh just 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 popping, man. Black girl magic. So she's once again she's three years old. Her name is Demi. She has a Demi doll. You can you can purchase or even just check it out at her website at www.de. I'm sorry. It's I T S D E M I S World dot com. W O R L D. But uh it's amazing, man. God is good. Appreciating him, first of all. First, you know. All the time. All the time. Every Sunday. And all the time. <laughs> God is good. Okay. Yeah. But you can check us out, man. Uh, dolls are thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, it's also things on the website that can get discounts on uh, or uh, discount codes. And it's is best great- friend weekend a discount code yet? We, hey, that, that's done. I get I get text the marketing team tonight. We can make it happen. So if you go to um, Demi's, it's Demi's World dot com, and um, use the discount code Best Friend Weekend, all one word. Boom. It should be up there ASAP. He's sending a text right now. You get yeah. a discount on a Demi doll. I mean, it's it's awesome, and I think it's a very cool thing to see us celebrating blackness in that way. When I saw that idea, and I saw you putting that out with your daughter, mm-hmm. that it, it made me really happy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I purchased one this 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 season, and I'm like, hey, look, I'm gonna get one for a gift. And I'm like, I, like I supported um, a lot of my other homeboys who got things going on. I'm like, I want to make sure that I support black business yeah. during this holiday season. And this is this is an awesome idea. We say this all the time. Best Friend Weekend is our podcast, and we yeah. want to be famous doing Best Friend Weekend. We want to make money doing Best Friend Weekend. For sure. But it might end up being Best Friend Weekend selling dad hats and shirts is the reason we get famous, right? So you never know what's going to make it pop. And uh, like, you know, if you've had we've had D. Scott on the podcast many a time, so mm-hmm. you know what this guy does. He do club promotion, um, black clubs versus white clubs. Go listen to that podcast. Yeah. Daddy Gang, go listen to that podcast. We talk about a lot of different things. This is something that I, I know wasn't on your radar, but then you came up with it, and look, it's popping. I, I think the, the the biggest thing for me is about it is he, he he's writing a new narrative for generational wealth um, for his little girl. And I mean, let's be honest about it; she doesn't even know exactly how how big it is yet, and what type of accomplishment it is. And I feel like who who knows, especially with uh, his marketing skills, along with his partner's marketing skills. You did this. This might be the next Black Barbie. We don't mm. know. You know what I mean? It is. His daughter might be. You know, has has, has the potential. Let me say, my bad. Has the potential to be the the next Black Barbie at ten years old. You know what I mean? I, 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 it's it's super huge, and I salute that again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. sure, all day. But I, I think I think it, it's, it's daughter it's stepdaughters get them. I mean, it's all. I good. think you need to relax. It's a real big thing, and um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I, I, I definitely shout out him, man. Shout out, nah, to Scott man. Like I said, like I, I literally like every day is like something like we meet with a we meet a marketing team every week. Yeah, and it's just still like just surreal me just knowing that me and her mother came up with this bright idea almost a year and a half ago. Just to stop that generational curse, as far as teaching y- your child about business, mm-hmm. about you know establishing credit at a young age, yeah. you know having a having a business, an LLC, uh, a bank account, yeah, uh, just it's, it's amazing, man. Uh, and I, I'm just glad I had an opportunity to set my child up to to be in a position. To already be successful at a at a young age, your own boss more than anything, and learn Correct. how to make money at an early age, and learn like, like she ain't got to go get that associate degree, yeah, like my boy, you know what I'm saying? She already Gucci. <laughs> like, hey, listen, she can still get a talking about generational wealth <laughs> and talking about um, us doing for us, man. That's a perfect segue into a word from our longest running sponsor, um, 
the Black Coffee Company. So five young Xavier alumni have come together to create the Black Coffee Company. Man, y'all visit theblackcoffeecompany.com to check out their art, apparel, and uh, definitely their coffee. With five unique blends of Colombian, Brazilian, Ethiopian, and Peruvian coffees, these brothers are giving you some of the best java from around the globe and some food for thought as well. Um, these fellas aren't only distributing quality coffee, they preach the major tenets of entrepreneurship, financial freedom, and community empowerment. Uh, the whole movement is dope, but don't take my word for it. Visit theblackcoffeecompany.com and see what all the fuss is about. The Black Coffee Company, coffee for the culture. Ooh, if you want Black Coffee Company. No, I messed it up. All right, so um, after that awesome word from the Black Coffee Company, per usual, man, go get you some black coffee. And use the promo code Best Friend Weekend. You can get something off of the black coffee. I ordered a bunch of black coffee for um, some of my family members for Christmas, so they're going to be getting that. You should me do too. the same. They got some cool little packs in there. Lo said, me too. I don't know if I believe him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sounded good. It sounded good. Man, let's I'm talk about that story in New York. Some crazy shit happened last week. A mother and her 16-year-old daughter were walking down a quiet street on Monday. It was actually this week. When two men appeared and dragged the teenager into a vehicle. New Yorkers were captiv captivated for hours by the news on Tuesday after an Amber Alert had been issued and a video of the kid napping spread online. At first, there was good news. The girl, her name was Carol Sanchez, had been found and she was unharmed. But then they found out she was small Latin. The whole situation. <laughs> she, they said her mother was overprotective and um, the family had been contemplating to move back to their native country of Honduras. But the girl was adamant that she wanted to remain in the United States, which motivated her to get four dudes to stage the kidnapping. So, in the big scheme of things, she should have went back to Tegucigalpa, Honduras. <laughs> but she was, she was small Latin. And I don't like hey. it. And why this guy got pictures of her turning into small Latin, which is hilarious. My, my group chat was just talking about it today. <laughs> um, what it, my, my first thought, so I'm going to give you two big thoughts on it. My first thoughts are that y'all are why y'all ridiculous? Why stop? The first thoughts that I had was the narrative out there was y'all don't care about black girls, like black girls getting kidnapped all over the place, and y'all don't care. And the second one was the one we talked about two weeks ago on the podcast: the sex trafficking culture. Like whenever something is like the news, right? Mm -hmm. Like when it was the Me Too era, mm -hmm. you want to believe every story because every story has value, but then you realize people know it's a thing. And then they just use it for their own personal thing. Whenever something like Smollett, yeah, you know, people are doing. I just think, I just think it's sad when you gotta wait to see if it's real. I think that for me, it's We're like so numb to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, now yeah. it's like okay, niggas gonna be lying. The, 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 the niggas gonna need. You be like, damn, the little girl messed up. Then you be like, damn, hold on, when kidnappers start just taking people away when they with their mama. <laughs> On camera, you know what I mean? Right there, they usually get you when you, you know, somewhere in the street. Like, wasn't the first time we uh, had this conversation when they shot that little girl in Houston? Yeah, and it was like, so what? They wait, just pulled wait. up next to yeah. these people and shot them on the way. That shit sounds stupid. It's all more than five in the morning. That shit don't sound right. So, but I mean, when you you look at the story, you're like, damn. So they they were seen on camera. Like these people do this for a living. So I know they ain't gonna they just I ain't gonna just run in front of you. You talking about sex trafficking people yeah, do this for a living. Yeah. Okay, okay, go. They do this for a living. So I mean you're professional. I ain't trying to be funny either. You're a you're professional, professional sex trafficker. Yes. Just like a kitchen in an Uber by yourself, boom, boom, boom. They got, got a protocol. Hey. So do they get an associate's degree in sex trafficking? <laughs> no. No, you get a master's. <laughs> you don't bullshit half <laughs> you don't halfway sex trafficking. <laughs> And killing my nigga Rod, <laughs> We ain't talking about Rod. It's my dog. <laughs> At all. But so what I'm relax. saying is... No, I'm just saying, but no, you're professional. <laughs> you're professional. So I would just look at the whole situation. I said, that's on camera. It's like, then they ran and pushed them out the way out gingerly. I just want to take both of them. In my mind, both of them got to go. <laughs> me, but I, it was just weird. So, that's I mean, I, they, they, she got me, though. Just she got model. me. She got me. I just wish it wasn't a lie, you know, because, I mean, it's, it's people out here really, really taking the L with the sex trafficking, and, you know, that's it's not going to always be the case. There's people really out here losing their life and been gone for years now, so. What you think, Raj? Oh, you push it, you send it to me? <laughs> yeah, so, he uh, sent it to you. Ooh. <laughs> well, uh, nice tirade, Los. I, uh, I just think... Um, 
I just I just think we got to, I mean, I, you know, there's nothing much else to say. I just think we got to stop lying for, for our 15 minutes of fame. Um, and and I, I mean, there's not really much else to say, you know, like if you're going, I, I don't, you ain't got to lie to kick it. That's, <laughs> but, that's pretty much all I got to say about the situation. Yeah. She's, she's so just caught trying to run away from home, though. That's the crazy part, like. She was trying to run away from home. That's 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 for me. That was the like, damn, all that to run away from home. She ain't want to go back to Honduras, man. They got no running water over there. This they do. They come out of pump, but it's, it's running. <laughs> it's cold though. They ain't got no washcloths. They wash their body with their hand with the bar of soap. Okay. They want to go back to that? No, nah, we got our water is terrible here. Mm-hmm. You never saw that little thing say, "Don't eat the lettuce from Walmart from the land three weeks." somebody asked me this the other day and they were talking about traveling international and doing and seeing the world and I was like man that's a great idea but you know what I know what the best place in the world is it's America like I don't like when you travel you want to come back home I I just think when you go when you go abroad it's just certain things you can't eat you just don't be you just don't yeah especially if you're in Africa yeah definitely (laughs) or wherever you just don't eat and drink everything well my one of my other Canada you can eat or drink everything Pretty, but my doctor said you gotta take probiotics, Raj, before you go to like not probiotics, but like some digestive stuff. Because he said the the water and the food and everything that's prepared has different bacteria than what it has in the United States. So it'll fuck you up, not because it's bad, just because you're not accustomed to it. Somebody that travels a lot, uh, the great philosopher uh, Lil Duval said, when you go abroad, eat McDonald's, mm. and he never hmm. got sick, and he be everywhere. That do sound like a good philosopher. I don't eat McDonald's here though. Me neither, but damn. I ate McDonald's in Panama one time, and it, the meat felt like a whole different type of cattle. Like it was, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't well done. It was medium rare. <laughs> in that bitch, oh. It was a different, prepared a different way. Man. How that meat felt? Saucy. <laughs> I, I didn't say how it felt. I said how it tastes. Relax. No, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Doing things different for the right. for the nine nine and the two thousand. Hey, for the twenty twenty. For the twenty twenty. <laughs> hey, when twenty twenty start, you know what you need. Two thousand eighteen. Hold up. You know what you need to do to start twenty twenty. What? Everybody do it at the beginning of the year. You hit that gym, and I know a place to hit that gym. You need to go to holler at my homeboys at A to Z Fitness. Look, it's never a bad time to get in the best shape of your life. Do yourself a favor and go to Zeno Fitness and get with the homie Alpha Zeno. In addition to virtual training, his state-of-the-art Stafford workout facility is located in Southwest Houston, right off of Murphy Road. You can come to A to Z Fitness and use the equipment, schedule a private workout with one of the trainers, or do a boot camp to get you headed in the right direction. They're open seven days a week, so feel free to join the team to scope and tone, do high intensity and strength training, and ultimately get the results that you're looking for. All of the coaches at A to Z are knowledgeable on fitness and health, and will have you motivated to be the best you that you could be. Listen, I'm going to stop talking about it because you could have already visited the site and got started on your journey toward being a champion. A to Z Fitness. It's about damn time to get fine. So pull up. A to Z. Easy as one, two, three. <laughs> we'll get you swolled in a B. Itch. <laughs> right now. Hey, man, go to A to Z Fitness. I'll let the boy, boy, um, Zeno, tell him Best Friend Weekend sent you, and you will get a discount on some personal training and everything else that go on there. You know what it is. It's crazy to um, me. Trump got impeached. I want to talk about that for like just he a did. split second. It really it happened? happened? Yeah, the House of Representatives impeached him today. So, still, at least in the White House. Yeah, yeah. It got to get passed by like the Senate, too. Like People was in the gym at y'all game screaming, Trump got impeached and dancing and shit. I'm like, uh-huh. relax, y'all don't even know nothing. Y'all ain't passed. We, we know what they are. Civics are free in the pies. Oh, they didn't vote either. Your mama, you, nobody voted. Nobody you know can vote? Oh, oh, you're talking about that. Nobody voted. Raj, that. what are your thoughts on the impeachment? We don't have to talk long. I just want to know your general thoughts. Uh, So he got, yeah, I mean, I think impeachment is the same thing as being indicted. Um, So he got charged, but it still has to go to trial. Um and it's Congress is that the next person that that has to kind of look over the, the thing? Pretty is, that, sure. is that who he has to go in front mm-hmm. of? And he's gonna be president after that. Oh, yeah. So because them boys got the majority know. there, they're not yeah. about to just be like, "Ooh, we're gonna get him out of here." Right. I just like so, the fact that he put on his Twitter like, "Hey, I'm getting impeached today. Can you believe that?" <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what's wrong I just like with the fact that he just be really out here with the smoke and the shit. Like, "Hey, I'm getting impeached today. Can you believe that?" That shit's funny. 
Yeah, I know. Well, they, I think if there was actually, I think, I mean, not to go, not to go too deep, but I think if there was actually like a, um, um, on like a, a glimmer of 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 hope that he would be removed from office, then he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be. You know, like he wouldn't tweet things like that. Like I think he would yeah. be tweeting mean things, and he did tweet something kind of crazy. But for the sake of it, I don't think it would have been as immediate of, of a reaction of like. All right, I'm good. Y'all, y'all yeah. crazy for impeaching me, but I'm still gonna be good. I don't think he would have. I don't think he would have reacted like that if he didn't know he was gonna be straight once it got to Congress. So he's he, gonna, he's not he gonna be all right. You're right. He's not wrong. With you. I was watching on CNN and they kept saying like, "I'm gonna yield 30 seconds." It was crazy. I think like the Democrats and the Republicans both probably had the same amount of time, like let's say an hour. And they, the two leaders of the Democrats and the Republicans, was up there and they was like, "Hey, I'm gonna yield 30 seconds to this person. I'm gonna yield 45 seconds to this person." So they kept like passing a mic. To like other congressmen, I mean other uh, rep- representatives, and they would say their little piece for thirty seconds, and it was either like this is a sham and this was a mockery, you should never do it, or we been should have did it. I, I saw when Maxine Waters got up there, they gave her three minutes. Hey, you got they was like Maxine Waters, you get three minutes, and yeah, she wild on Ma- him. Maxine, the old slave, she's yeah. slave. So some people was they was giving them like <laughs> it was giving them like thirty seconds. It was like yeah. it's a sham that I only have thirty seconds. Blah blah. Yeah. You so it was Maxine? like a cool little game that they was trying to like partition their time mm-hmm. to see like, and then they had their little big statements and everything. Great production. And then they was like, "Hey, look, it's time to vote, man. Do uh, every everybody who wants him to 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 uh, to be in peace, say aye." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Everybody who wants him to to stay, say nay." Damn. Now cue up that music for nothing nice to say. You know they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't. Say nothing at all. Nothing nice, nice to say, but I'll don't nice. Ain't nothing nice. Yeah, man. Look, uh, so we did a podcast about a year ago, and it was called For the Record, man. Y'all could go back and look at that, man. Go ahead, get out of listen. Uh, we talked about it a lot, but really, we got into Drew Brees becoming an all-time passing yardage leader on Monday Night Football against the Washington, D.C. football team. That was last season. Well, this week, we were back at it. Drew Brees broke two more records on Monday night and made some loot along the way. Made me some loot, obviously, because I bet big. This is a good rule of thumb. If the Saints are playing in a primetime game and Drew Brees can break a record, bet heavy. Like, that's that's a no-brainer. I win every time with that. Like, it's a thing. But back to my point. They won the game, and Drew Brees became the all-time touchdown leaders. And he had the highest single-game completion percentage going 29 for 30 against the Shetland Ponies, I mean the Colts. And um, he did his thing. I think this is peak Drew Brees. And I expect this to win the Super Bowl. I mean, I should. I expect this to win the Super Bowl. I also think Drew could play another three years or more. But um, this game and this season brought me to a realization. And it all just kind of hit me like a, like, a, like a ton of bricks this week. I want this to be Drew Brees' last season. It's Teddy's time, man. Teddy is for the city, dog. Look at him, man. Look at the state championship. He was on the sideline with the St. James team. He was riding his bike to the stadium. He'll be on the sideline dancing at another high school football game. He'd be motorboating and not motorboating, I don't know, motorbiking in the locker room. Listen, <laughs> Teddy Bridgewater is for the city. He young. I'm and I'm I don't want to lose him. I want Teddy to be our next our quarterback for the next 15 years. And if that means that we lose Drew for the last two of, of what he was gonna be. Mm. and we get Teddy from the next 15, I want Teddy. I'm ready for that. Furthermore, it might be time for Camaro to go too. Look, I understand why he drove, right? He drove. He pissed off, right? It's a contract year for him. He won them numbers. And the Saints have made it a point wow. to give Michael Thomas the ball. Michael Thomas getting the ball more than anybody has ever got the ball in the history of the league. And I'm not making this shit up. So it makes sense. But it looked like Kamara ain't even necessarily trying. He over there playing ball and he kind of pissed. And I'd be pissed too. But if he going to be pissed and he going to act like a hoe at the end of the season, he might be cool. But if he decides to act like a hoe, man, get that boy out of there, man. And let's get another running back that's a whole bunch of cheaper and don't give him a whole bunch of millions of dollars. Get us two or three more. Latavius Murray not that bad. Go get us Edwards Elad. Get us somebody else. I think we can find another one. I'm not saying I don't love Kamara. I'm not saying I don't love Drew Brees. I'm just talking realism. I'm talking about going forward. And lastly, it's time for Drew Holiday to go too. He had every chance to be the man on the Pelicans this season. And we lost 13 straight fucking games. Listen, just because Zion not there don't mean you... Like, this was the season that Drew Holiday was supposed to be the dude. But guess who the dude for the Pelicans is? It's Brandon Ingram. Like, 
And we lose in every game. So what's the point? Let's get some draft picks. Let's get some money for him. I'm just saying. I never thought I would have said none of those three things I just said, but I've been thinking it, and they just hitting me this week that it's time. Look, it's time to start thinking about the future. And I ain't got nothing nice to say about recognizing the past and not planning for the future. So I won't say nothing at all. Raj, I know you have something to say about that. What's your thoughts? Um, yeah, I, I'll go ahead. Like, Teddy could go. Um, <laughs> I am with you. So, oh, my God. So Fuck Teddy. Teddy, could, Teddy. I'll see Teddy later. And I like I like him. I really do. But I, I just love don't Teddy. Necessarily, I think I, I just don't necessarily want. Nope. I don't necessarily need him. No, nope. not then, 15 um, years. And, and then, um, and then, let's see who else you said. You said you was talking about Drew Holiday. I'm cool. You said, with oh, you said Camaro. So it's not necessarily a contract year for Camaro yet. You still got another year. But you gonna his hold contract. out? Okay, well then hold out then. <laughs> exactly. So we good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's all good. I know. I know you don't like the way that it works, but you know you good. Let me let me get one. Let me get one more out you before you start acting up. And then, <laughs> yeah. um, and then, uh, and then Drew. I'm not. I'm not necessarily. You know. I. I. I think that we. Uh, I think we paid Drew, so he. He got his money, and we got a bunch of. We got a bunch of young, cheap talent on the on the Pelicans team, and I think that he can be a part of our um, immediate future. If that makes any sense, kind of an oxymoron, but I think that he could be a part of our immediate future. Um, and when Zion gets back, if it's this year, if it's next year, then I think. Drew, I don't know. I don't necessarily like. I saw some trades, and the best thing that I saw us getting back for Drew Holiday was maybe another first round pick protected, potentially, or like the best player that I saw was Landry Shamet or um, or um, Tyler Hero, and and I just don't necessarily think grabbing another young player is gonna make us any better nope. for the future or now. So I'm good with having. It the exact opposite. So you want Drew, Drew, and Kamara, and fuck no, everything I just I, said. I, I, yes, I fuck exactly. I, I say fuck every last word you uttered out your mouth. I feel like this: we want Drew Brees as long as he producing. I don't give a damn. As long as he producing, we want Drew Brees. I think Alva Kamara. We definitely need to keep him. I don't know if he's fully healthy. He is running different this year, but I think it's I think because he got his mouth done. I mean, I think and he 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 a little too pretty this year. Um, I, I think I think Drew, Drew Holiday. I feel like once, once Zion come back, because you've been watching the games we losing, we not losing. We lost a few more than 10, 12 or something like that. 13, once Zion, 12. yeah, once Zion come back, he make that difference up. We a whole, we're a completely different team with Zion now. So I'm good with that. I think Drew, Drew helps that. You got to have veteran leadership to 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 gel together all those. All them boys could go. Yeah. Hey, I think it's so funny, Los, that you say Zion like an old person. Zion or something like that. I don't know what you're saying, but it's funny to me. Oh, you know what I thought was funny? Zion. You know what I thought was funny? Mount Zion. When D. Scott was saying the website, he's like, www. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get him hey. in the moment, but he was doing his thing. So he I got Snoop Dogg braids. You can't blame my name. <laughs> but nah, www. I, Demi. I'm fu- <laughs> I ain't, I ain't got no voice, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's now, the worst thing that could have happened to the Saints was letting go uh, uh, Ingram because they, they complimented they each go. other. Him and, Here they go. Him and Kamara. Like, real talk. That's why right, you say he, he's, he's, he's acting different because you have two two future backs. So, you take away a back. Now, he got to shine by himself. It, it was like they, like they said, it was lightning and thunder. Nah, he... he yeah, so, not, so therefore wait, he's I'm a premier back he now. Saying. So he, yeah, he, he played he, different. He got to play though, different. Rod. Like you so, know what I'm saying? Like it's easy as a defensive coordinator, it's easy to stop that one back. No, no it, look, it D is. Scott, and you might be able to bust my head right now, but I'm gonna ask you, how many Saints games have you watched? I watched a lot this year, actually. A lot. Which is which is more than What's three. What's a lot? We watched every so second four? of every game. We I understand that. But so of, so all I'm for me to be a Cowboys fan is three three or more is is a lot. I just I just. I don't think I maybe I don't know if you watch it in the same lens that we watch it, but I think that we are. I'm not gonna say better off, but I think that we're good. I, we're good with Murray. I lie. I watched Murray. all the games Bridgewater played in. Shut up. Okay, That's, so I, I swear we, to you. Then, then that means you saw you saw Latavius Murray shine, and I don't yeah. understand why yeah. you're saying what you're but, saying because. But how many games whenever, did he shine? Whenever, every time whenever he Kamara. Right. Went, and, 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 but hold on, hold on. And it's a different package against the 49ers. Which, which, he averaged nine point nine. But I, I, I think what he's I'm trying to say is that I think what he's trying to say is that I think what he's trying to say is that Ingram Ingram brings something different off the field 
and Agreed. practice and all that. Agreed. And, yeah, I think I think that's what he's trying in, to say. In, in, Ingram, he just in, Ingram is my fa- one of my favorite Saints of all time. Yeah, and, and, and you see where Ingram going and over there to Baltimore. What, 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 what he doing? What he doing? Big trash. He, he's big, making who better? Big 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 no, 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 no. He's big making trash. who better? Everybody. Lamar, the whole team. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. He didn't need to make Drew better though. Drew, 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 Drew was good. Was great. He but he would have made Bridgewater awesome with those five games. And you know what's you know what I hate about the Ingram? I mean Ingram leaving is this. That we would have had two niggas named Ingram being like dogs in New Orleans, one for the Pelicans and one for the for the Saints. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's but, cute. But the biggest and one for the um for the podcast. Shout out this podcast brought to you by Clarence Ingram, my high CI one time for the Shout out CI. Um but the other thought I had is that <laughs> that Ingram, y'all are stupid. Why do you continue doing this stuff? <laughs> hey, if y'all knew what was going on at this house with Los and D Scott, they, they have they they have lost, they don't have sense is what the issue is. But Ingram was about <laughs> two hundred yards shy of the Saints' all time rushing record behind Deuce McAllister, and, that, and they traded him. Not traded him. I'm sorry, I sound like an idiot, Raj. And they let him go. Ah, uh, you know, he chose to not resign. I, I don't like that. It's not a great thing. Yeah. But um, look. Anyway, we had one more thing I definitely wanted to talk about before we get out of here, and it's the, um, you know, I was talking about Drew Brees. Earlier, we talked about Joe Burrow. It came up recently. I was watching the Saints game, and I saw Sean Payton calling a game against, it was, oh, it was against the the 49ers. And I was like, I fucking love Mm -hmm. Sean Payton. Yeah. Sean Payton is in the top I didn't know he was cross-eyed like that. White boys right now. Yeah. And I said, we need to name our top five white boys right now. And I think it's impertinent to do. So who is in the list of top five white boys right now? Raj, just give me one. And this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to come to a consensus on the top five white boys. Raj, give me one. My number five, I'm coming in hot with. Oh, you uh, you, you going to say your whole list? No, nah, nah, okay, just one, just one, just one, just one. Oh, no, I'll give you my number five. Okay. I was just going to give you number five. No, was, so my number it's five no is CNH. CNH is on my list. Hey, I, I was about to say, definitely on my list. On my list, he's he's one of the top five white boys. In really, the world. he actually in my top two. And he's not number two. <laughs> 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 okay, I told you Sean Payton's on my list. Yeah, Sean Payton, Sean, Sean Payton, Drew Brees, same. But let me ask you something: If we only had to pick one. Dang, Would it be Sean, be Sean Payton or no no no? Oh, out of these two, Sean Payton. Okay, let's two things. If we could pick Sean Payton or Coach O, Drew Brees or Joe Burrow, I don't think Coach O white. <laughs> Creole. That's, that's not white. I feel yeah, like Joe. I feel like Coach O might be more. He a nigga to for me. the culture. But, I mean, he's a it's culture. I don't think he a white man. I think he a dirty white man. No. He but a, if you dirty swamp, white, then you like swamp. light-skinned black. That's what I'm saying. I don't count him as white. <laughs> the, the logic is infallible. I don't. He, he a swamp dad. I feel like I feel like when he go fishing, he don't take a rod and reel. He get in there and stick his hand in the hole and catch the cafe. I don't think he just go catch him. Like he just jump in the boat off the right. boat. Right. Not forest. Forest style. Shoot him. D. Scott, you got any names that that we haven't? That I mean, you know. Nope. What names haven't we said that's on your list? This ain't D. Scott. I mean, I'm fooling with Max Kellerman. Okay. okay. I'm fooling with him. Good okay. Job. Yeah. Okay, Max Kellerman. Good job, D. Scott. That's a very good job. Very good job. I think Max Kellerman needs to make our top five. What do you think, Raj? Yeah, I, I like Max Kellerman. Um, I think so. I'm gonna give you my number. My number right. four is every white boy in the NBA. <laughs> what? But they gotta be white Sorry, boys from what? America, not not yeah. not not like, not fucking Luka. Dice. No, I just, I just no, I disagree because I feel like Yao Ming black. I feel like Kristaps Christop, Porzingis is black. Like D- Dirk Nowitzki is definitely black to me. So I'm, no, you don't have to be from from America. JJ Redick. I feel like JJ Redick got some swag. Dirk got him a nice one. So I'm going. Too. Every single caucus person in the NBA. We're gonna, we, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take that into consideration. Lo, you got something we ain't said? Definitely. Uh, Michael is it Michael Rubin, the the guy, the uh, part owner for the 76ers? Oh, the one that with like uh, Meek Mill, Meek homeboy, Mill. Meek okay. Mill, besties. Got, got to have him in there. It's, it's, it's just no way not to. Yeah, um, he can come to the barbecue. Yeah, I mean, no, he, he. I think he's 
He's Michael coming. Rappaport's up there too. And I don't know, man. He like he like hit a miss to me. I don't like. Mm-hmm. No, nah, he be doing too much. That's what I'm saying. He like. I'm he, a Gary Owen fan before I'm. I, I like. Okay. I like. I see where y'all going. Yeah, I'm yeah. Thinking yeah. What you putting down? But yeah. I'm definitely Michael Rubin uh, part owner of Seven Sixers. I tell you one night I was at Lumen. Huh? I was mm-hmm. at Lumen one night, and that nigga, no. and that nigga Nick Wright went on, ran on me and dapped me up, and he yeah. was like, "Man, that's a nice beer, bro." And I was like, "Oh yeah, man, I'm at you." And he was with his black wife. I like yeah. Nick Wright, you know, we, Nick Wright, and Chris Carter, man. That's what he, he he could he could make the list, but I think Max is up above him. So yeah, I'm gonna go with yeah. Max. If top we're going 10. with that sphere, we can go top ten. Yeah, if we're going with that sphere, top yeah. five. Max um, Max Kellerman is ahead of him, but I like I like I like the seventy six owners as a potential. Yeah, I, I just think what, what what he actually did for the culture and what he did for for me, and and I think it wasn't just like why he was in jail. It's the things he's doing after. Like he was on change for change. Doesn't um, he own like um, one of them shipping, like like FanDuel, not FanDuel, but like one of those, it's like one of those sports shops. Not sure. Not you know sure. how people go to like Fans Age yeah. or stuff, stuff to not buy he, sports paraphernalia. Sure. He owns one of those. I'm not, I'm not sure. That's how he got it, the bag. But I that's cool. I though. But I just think, I, I was, this is on a birthday club and he was like, uh, they was doing something for the, uh, for black schools, for uh, HBCUs. And he was like, I donated a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, and he was like, yes, that's it. He but Joe like, Burrow donated 200,000 to, uh, but, shut up. <laughs> but he was like, listen, if y'all wear a 76 gear once a week, I'll do another 25,000. So mm-hmm. you donate 125,000 as long as they wear 66 gear, uh, once a week for the rest of the season or something, whatever the bet was. But I just, I just fuck with him. Like he 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 heard Meek's story and took it. He didn't just he didn't take it to like uh the edge or oh, we gonna get in the water to this time to jump in. He jumped in and swam across with him. That's I got why you. I fuck with him. Damn. Raj, you got any anybody that's just not popping on our list? So I don't know if y'all I'm gonna just give y'all my number one person because like I got I got Post Malone on my list because I like Post Malone. I think he made great music. But I'm gonna give y'all my number one person, and I think he should be everybody's number one person because he's my, like my absolutely positively number one white person in the world, and it's Travis Kelsey. Oh, but that's he, for black Travis Kelsey. Is but black. I'm sorry, that's for black women. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Damn. My bad. Shout out, my Bumble. bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> hey, 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 Rod. She remind me like a like a Jay Timbo. Yeah. Justin Timberlake. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just white chocolate. You know who else is in his little list? Rod Justin Ch- Timberlake's not white chocolate. <laughs> That's Jason Williams. Huh? Hey, right. Josh McCown is on this. You know, and you know what I'm calling this? I actually call this top five list. I have, I've been having it in my phone for like a year. I've been calling it the CNH Award. Mm. Like, the award for the white boy who is like the coolest with the culture. But I, I think what we're talking about right now is not necessarily who's the coolest with the culture. It's just white boys that we like. But yeah. CNH Fuck. is on there, and Travis Kelsey can make the list. I think Travis Kelsey, Max Kellerman, mm. that's right. CNH, um, that's three. I got uh, Gary Owens. I, got a black I don't know. Wife. If, 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 if we get into the top, I don't know. I, I think oh, I like Sean Payton better than them. I agree with Sean Payton better than them. Sean Payton more than Drew Brees Sean, and everybody. We got to add Payton. Peyton's cool with that round the world shit he's doing. Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning is a Republican. No, I'm not fucking with Peyton fuck Manning. about y'all. Peyton, Peyton fuck with the black people. No, Peyton Manning don't fuck no, with niggas no, when they catching the ball. Stop anything after... I mean, black people out there catch, anything after catching the football... They can go for Sean. Fucking Drew. <laughs> Joe Burrow might be better Tom. than them boys, though. <laughs> Joe Burrow, though? John. Joe Burrow actually came out the hood. No, he didn't. Yeah, I mean, the fucking... That came out of impoverished though. They said it was doing... They was sharing needles. Did you see his suit? How much he donated? No, he didn't donate shit. Well, raised or People whatever. People did. No, that was white folk in Louisiana who got money. His family. I know that she family didn't have that. Do you see his mama? Bro, he, he had the regular suit. She, she didn't even have both. He, he ain't got to go to the league. But he going to go? No. Don't. Johnny Manziel. Number one. Okay, okay, anyway, listen. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a... Might be on to something. <laughs> Can we say uh, half a Kaepernick and half a Drake? <laughs> Can we say yeah. that? Can we put them together as like one of the top five? Anyway, man, look, that's all. I, that's that's all I got this week. That's all we got this week. I know we didn't talk a lot, yeah. And we're a little bit off that drink, but hey, it's, it's, that's why you listen. That's why you listen. So what I want you to do is, I want you to have a great weekend. Yeah. I want you to make it a best friend weekend, and we out. Hey, teachers, do something really, really stupid after this break. Like just while out, but take an Uber. Pow. Bang. Hi, D. Scott. Splick at.
Hey, you know what it is, man. These kids, these kids. Where we at this weekend? Scotty D. What's going on this weekend? Hey, we had uh, we had space on Friday. You did. We had Seaside all weekend. So if you on, we free all weekend. Well, you feel me? Any anyway, anywhere it is. You know what I'm talking about? Straight like that. (laughs) Uh, Uh, Hey, let me show you that shit. Nah, 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 nah. (laughs) <laughs> hey, hey, that's not that gay shit in my house. Hey, hey, listen out though. Hey, man, hey, 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 real talk. Before the holidays up, man, if you have a child uh, that is a is a young lady that is uh, African American, any, 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 oh, any, 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 they might like that. No, 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 no. Man, all so colors, much. man. All colors, man. Black, white, brown, green, purple, even white, man. We, hey, we love everyone. Everyone loves us. Check out the Demi Dog. www. It's Demi's World. com, man. I-T-S-D-E-M-I-S-W-O-R-L-D.com, man. It's Demi's World. Best Friend Weekend Podcast is the promo code. You get a percentage off. Holla at your boy, man. It's a good, 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 good product supporting a great three-year-old boss. You know, It's, so it's Demi's magic. World. We're just living in it, my nigga. That's it. So when does the product code kick in? When the kick in? ASAP. As soon as as soon as you you as soon as you hear in this podcast right now yeah. it's done. I right, yeah, get this shit out of here so Raj can do the NFL. <laughs> it's like wrong. a motherfucker. So this yeah, one, all right, I'm going to read. It's going to be two. So anyway, so all right, here we go. It's outstanding. My my pussy, <clears throat> I'm going to start it out. I'm going to start again. It's outstanding. My pussy ball like Tupac, wet like Niagara Falls off two shots. Bad bitch, nasty love. That's two thoughts. Watch me squirt like a juice box. I could ride on that pole like a stripper bitch. When you bust, pussy make you want to tip a bitch. I could trick a bitch quick like Maurice and have you crying for that pussy like Tyrese. Yeah, baby, make a mess on this pussy. Give me good brain, take a test on this pussy. My shit wet, huh? And it's gushy. I done turn you out, got you talking all mushy. Ass so tight, you want to tie me down. I'm an energizer bunny. You need four rounds. I love when you beat it up, when you're on the ground. Anything is possible. Yeah, it's going down. It's, it's a little disgusting. Good lord! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Never mind. Some of that shit they was talking about. No, that's not like a, a great time. <laughs>